right, we're out here on the Old Town Autopilot. This thing has a trolling motor. Right now we're spot locked and I'll show you what this remote does in a second. Let's do a little walkthrough on the water, what this kayak's all about. Starting from the nose. First off, you can see it's pretty stable. I'm walking on it. So up at the nose, you have your handle. This little storage guy right here so you can get inside. The gym of it all. You have a Minn Kota trolling motor. All of it's controlled with this little remote here. So right now, spot lock. If you want to anchor in spot, hit the little anchor symbol. Hit the little anchor symbol. Tap the anchor, it'll hold you in spot. Within five feet, GPS coordinates are gonna correct this guy. Plugs into the hole, nice and easy right there. We're gonna leave her plugged in so it holds us still. Now, say if we're getting into some shallow water or if you just wanna take the trolling motor out, we're gonna turn it off, this little propeller button. Now we're gonna straighten it up. Right now, we wanna line it up with these two arrows. And once it's lined up, we can pull this string right here was soaking in water. We're gonna unlock it from these teeth. That was almost bad. That was almost bad. Let's get away from these trees and I'm gonna show you some more. We'll talk about the remote while we're driving. Now, if I wanna go in a specific direction, I'm gonna tap this in right here. So say if I wanna go head over to this bank, I'm gonna turn the trolling motor. Nose is facing that way. We're gonna go ahead and lock it in, tap the end, turn it on, and it's gonna do its thing. You can even set this to a really slow speed and then troll a bank. These foot pedals are linked to your rudder in the back. The rudder controls right here. So if we pull this forward like this, the rudder pops up. Pull this back down the rudder falls back down. For the most part, this trolling motor will get you where you need to go just by using the remote. Jeez, we're smacking trees. Sorry, Strictly Sail. Didn't see that. If you want tighter, more accurate turns, use your foot pedals right here. If you want to turn right, step on it. It's gonna turn the kayak right, even though that, look, see that <laughs> the trolling motor's still locked onto that end. There we go. And then the same thing goes for left. Step on it. It's really smooth sailing, it's quick. I think this thing tops out around four miles an hour. So this trolling motor actually comes out. I'll show you how. You pull this string right here. It's gonna lift up off of those little orange safety things on the side. Now the motor no longer works. Hit the button, whatnot. Push it up, the trolling motor's gonna fall straight out. And that's when you can pull it. So now it's out. You see it has rails everywhere on this thing. I already have some attachments on here. This is for my phone mount. So if you want to put a rod holder on there, this bink. It also has four rod mounts. One, two, three, four. I prefer using a kayak crate right here. And then I have my rods there. They're nice and straight up and down. The foam decking up here, it's really nice for traction. You have several pockets within your work area to store things. So you have a larger one here and they kind of get smaller as you move up and then you have one more on this side. Now if you need to store say tackle boxes, you have that right here. Two cup holders, another one there. You have two side handles, one more storage option here. This is your little dry storage. It's where I keep the remote when it's in my garage. So I ended up putting my phone in here and it falls perfectly in to where I could not get this thing out. It was hitting the power and the volume button. Emergency SOS one hour ago. I was freaking out when this thing's trying to dial 911 on me. Can you imagine though, like a freaking helicopter comes in here to save me and I'm just like. All right, moving on. So the seat itself, really comfortable. Um, you have a high and a low position. I'm sitting in the high position right now. The battery is underneath the seat. So this box is already wired into the kayak itself. You see right here, and it just runs up to here. You have a massive storage compartment. You could fit a full cooler. Um, I have my kayak crate, my bag, my net, and we still have room. You have more tracks on the back, one there, one there. And then on the back of the kayak itself, you have handles underneath of it. One thing I do like about this is you can fish standing up. See what I mean, guys? That's what we have to watch out for. Let's have a seat. I uh, regained myself. Dude, there are some dogs in the woods going ham.
Uh, water's still a little chilly. It is what it is. I want to show you guys what this kayak's all about. I'm not trying to sell you one. I think it's time to go. You see, one problem with spot lock is, uh, why, are you, why is my drone, why are you doing that drone? Why are you moving everywhere? 